Hi, let's say how to fix the Outlook PDF preview handler error. This file cannot be previewed because of an error. Are you tired of encountering the that this file cannot be previewed because of an error? <coughs> Message on the Outlook when you attempt to preview a PDF. It's a common issue that can disturb your workflow and cause the unnecessary delays, but we are not. So let's see how we can fix it. The full error message reads the file cannot be previewed because of an error with the following previewer PDF preview handler to open this file in its own program. Double click it. So let's see how to fix the Outlook PDF handler error. This file cannot be previewed because of an error. First method is update your PDF reader software. Always try to use the latest or the updated version of the PDF reader software. If you are using the older or the outdated version, you will face these kind of issues. If an update is available, click on update to follow the prompts. Alternatively, visit the Adobe Acrobat return. Download the latest version and run the install. Follow the instructions. Install instruction list at your computer after the installation to update to apply the update. The second method is set Adobe Acrobat return as the default PDF reviewer. If an Adobe Acrobat return is set, is not set to the default PDF handler outlook, might not use preview handler to set it as default world settings apps default apps click on choose default apps by file type scroll down to the dot pdf set adobe acrobat reader as default the third method is enable the pdf preview handler outlook has a settings that allows you to enable or disable the preview handler for the different file types In the outlook go to the file option outlook options Trust center, trust center settings. Go to the attachment handling. Click on attachment document previewer button in the list. Make sure that the PDF preview handler option is checked on. The fourth method is disable the protected mode in the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Sometimes the protected mode in the Adobe Acrobat Reader can interfere with the preview handler in the Outlook. Open the Adobe Acrobat Reader, make it preferences category. Set security and check the option enable protected mode at the startup. Click on OK. Restart the Adobe Acrobat Reader. The fifth method is clear the temporary files over the time. Temporary files can accumulate cause the issues with the preview handler to clear the temporary files. Open the render log box press Windows plus R. Percentage temp percentage presenter in the folder that opens, select all and delete them. The sixth method is repair the Adobe Acrobat Reader installation. If the issue persists, try repairing the Adobe Acrobat Reader installation. Go to the control panel, program and features, find Adobe Acrobat Reader list, click on change. Choose the repair option and follow the on screen instructions. The seven method is check for the Outlook updates. If you are using the older or the outdated version, you will face these kind of issues. Always try to check the updates. If an update is available, you can update it. Eighth method is fix the corrupted PDF file causing this issue. The error occurs while in the specific PDF file, it's possible that the file itself is a corrupted. Some of the steps try opening the PDF with a different reader of the web browser. Use Adobe Acrobat built in repair tool. Go to the file, save another optimized PDF, and see the process fixes the issue. If we have a backup on the PDF file, try using the version. To see if the issue persists or the error persists made, there are some third-party PDF repair tools available you can, that you can attempt to fix the PDF. Make sure to use the reputed tool and have a backup of your PDF before attempting any repairs. The ninth method is edit the Windows registry to the correct preview handler settings. If the none of the above steps work, you might need to edit the registry. This is for the advanced users and you should be done with the caution. Open run, type this particular command and enter, navigate to this particular path. Check the app ID key if it exists. If it doesn't create the new string value called app ID and set its value to this. Close the registry editor and restart your system. Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.